Magandang araw sa inyo lahat and welcome back sa Patch Notes. I'm your host Renmar and kagaling lang natin sa sobrang solid na week 2 ng MPL action. Backdoor plays, epic comebacks, legendary moments, lahat na. So sana napanood nyo yun. But if you didn't, well of course we're having Patch Notes here today para ma-recap namin ang mga nangyari. Para ma makasama na rin kayo sa chikahan sa mga events ng MPL Philippines Week 2. Join me on the show is the resident analyst on the Tagalog stream pero minsan nasa English stream din siya basta siya yung all around <laughs> analyst namin sa MPL Philippines it's Wolf Cass but before we start we have an exciting news for all Mobile Legends enthusiasts brought to you by Smart 5G win games and make winning moments with friends achieve double GG with Smart Double Giga Games get 2 gigabytes for Mobile Legends Facebook Gaming and more guaranteed every day araw-araw yun plus data for all sites all you have to do is to open the Giga Life app or dial star 123 hash and choose double Giga Smart is also the official tournament telco partner for the MPL Philippines Season 8 and fun fact for my guest Wolf today pag binaliktad mo yung pangalan niya It turns out as flow. Yun lang. It's not that fun, but it's a fact. Wolf, come on, oh. <laughs> Wow, I uh, what an intro. <laughs> pero ayusin natin ang flow ng ating discussion, Mr. Raptor, because I believe we've got a lot of things to talk about. Lalong lalo na nagkaroon ng like you said, interesting week. Na oh. sa sobrang lupet ay tinapos natin with uh, what hell? What the hell was that moment? Yeah. Diba? Uh, uh, we're gonna we're gonna be talking about that moment later. Pero a similar moment happened ng MPL Philippines Season 7 Week 5. So right. if, if you know what moment we're talking about, ano, get get ready for it because we're gonna be talking about it. Upesahan naman natin with our first segment called Game Recap. Of course, just like with the previous episode, papa uh, pag-usapan namin ang mga nangyare ng MPL Philippines Week Number Two. And day number one, Onik versus NXP, and it was in this game where we, ano eh, parang na naalala natin ang isang term na parang hindi, matagal ko na hindi naririnig. Explain po nga mo nga sa akin, Wolf. Ano ba ang pogak gaming? <laughs> it's it's a uh, it's known sa Tagalog din. Na Tagalog word naman talaga siya na nag-originate kasi mayroong isang player mula sa ibang esports title before hmm. na ang kanyang uh, well IG is Pugak tapos yung kanyang playstyle ay ganun split push or hmm. rat tactics kasi ganun so basically pag may clash na nangyari sa gitna or sa other part of the map there is another person or hero pushing that lane and normally mahirap yung sagutin kasi what do you do mabilis magpush yung nagsisplit push sa sagutin mo ba yon hindi worth it kasi mas mabilis yung four man crew sa other end of the map and all the same time pwede rin na may tatlo dun sa mid tapos tig dalawang side lanes ano yung sasagutin mo so pag mahina ang defense ng kalaban pag nagiging effective hmm. ang pugak o kung tinatawag natin <laughs> split type uh... <laughs> parang aircon lang So no, yo. So yep, that's technically is it split pushing. Ah, uh, and yun yung nakikita natin for Onik and yun din nakita y- uh, sa kanila uh, laban sa NXP na spoil nila yung comeback ni Rene J. Ah, uh, nung huling season, may isang game na akala natin di maglalaro si Rene J. Pagpasok niya na paikot pa ng NXP yung laban, but this time around Onik, nainto nila yan. That didn't happen because of their pogak gaming, the split type split inverter mm-hmm. hindi ko alam kung ganun ba talaga wala akong alam <laughs> sa aircon but masasabi ko Onyx is playing it cool man um hanggang ngayon yeah. even at the end of week 2 they're still proving to be really good for NXP yeah. naman um nakas mo ba yung laro na to interestingly wait which one the the Onyx one or the oh okay, yung one? NXP yung NXP Onyx Ah, uh, yes. Day one. I'm, I'm sure you've had your fair share of Onyx versus N- NXP matches. Uh, real quick, para sa'yo, may nakikita ka bang main glaring weakness ng NXP ngayon? At yung isang bagay na kailangan nila ayusin para makontinue nila yung, well, at least to eventually makagawa na sila ng winning streak. I would say may mga micro mistakes na madaling ipunish. 
for example, yung overextension, hindi, man, hindi nagmamanage ng skills. Yan yung para saan nag-layering. Kasi we saw that hindi lang naman dun sa Onyx uh, series, but we also saw that dun sa TNC series ng NXP kung saan, uh, basically, they're not landing their shots. Diba? Um, Ganun lang kasimple. Um, I think yun yung fundamentals. Kasi magaling sila, magaling sila mag-outplay and everything, but... True. Sometimes mas maraming misses eh, than uh, you know than hits. At alam natin na mahirap yun sa the actual league na kasi people in, you know teams in the league they will see through any sign of weakness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And eventually though things would uh, go well for NXP in day number right. three, but we're not there just yet. Um, the second match for day number one, if Onyx versus NXP, the first match natapos yun 2-0. Omega finally nakakuha sila ng unang panalo nila for season 8, 2-0 laban sa RSG and kailangan na kailangan nila yun kasi day number two ang main highlight, the star match of the week, the rematch, Blacklist International versus Omega and yun yung magiging focus natin para yeah. sa day number two. At na- nakita natin yung ipagbabalik ni Edward Balboa. Yeah. Explain mo naman <laughs> sa mga viewers natin, sino ba si Edward Balboa at bakit si sigaw yun ni Manjin <laughs> during Man. sa cast? Kasi meron ng Renjo Pacquiao at uh, yung Edward Balboa, yung kanyang Pakito. There are three heroes na masasabi mong championship, ano eh, um, championship names para kay uh, para kay Edward which is Benedetta Barat Station yung Pakito we saw that in a previous season at nakikita pa rin natin siya ngayon interestingly uh, at syempre yeah. meron ng Reggio Pacquiao eh. at si Edward sa kanya na nabigay yung ano yung uh, yung kay, kay Rocky Balboa na alam naman natin na uh, sikat na sikat if uh, well uh, actually I don't know anymore kasi it's a different age back in my day <laughs> the joke lang pero yep you know La, interesting last season ang tawag namin kay uh, kay Edward ni ni Butters ay parang ano siya siya yung the role player kung saan an, kahit ano yung pwede niyang gawin minsan nga Rocky Balboa siya minsan Air mm-hmm. Edward siya gamit ang full views may mga times sa Benedetta siya kung ano yung paggawa sa kanya so ano siya alam mo yung parang pag may mga nakapaspa skill sa mga post na wanted to pero better ano, better bet na kaya ni Edward gawin yun Basta ko uh, ano yung kailangan. Ganon. Ganon yung tawag namin siya last season. And now, Balboa yung role na ginawa niya nung last week. Mm, pero hindi lang si Edward yung nag-shine sa series na to. Again, umabot siya ng three games. And nakita natin talaga yung familiarity ng isa't isa. Yeah, uh, sa draft pa nga lang eh. Pag nagbaban yung mga Omega at yung Blacklist. Ang bilis nung ban nila... Bumabagal lang onte-onte sa picks kasi doon na yun oh. na parang yung chess match ng dra- uh, best drafter in the universe versus <laughs> the Bonchan universe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it, it was a great uh, battle of coaches. Na surprisingly enough, I think naka-turn around victory ang Omega if, if my memory serves me right nung game number one where Blacklist International may sariling surprise naglabas sila ng sun pick and Ano yung reaction mo nung nakita mo yung sun pick ni Wise in the jungle? Well, well super duper surprised lalo na if I'm not mistaken naka veteran hunter pa yon. So oh. so many layers of surprises. Unfortunately, it did not work kasi alam natin na ang ganun yung veteran hunter uh, draft, you kind of need to finish it off as soon as possible. Tapos meron kang reliever siguro sa late game kung gusto mo magba late game. At mm-hmm. Omega Staying true to their late game prowess, iba din talaga eh. Parang may uh, iba talaga yung ano eh, no? Nagta-transform talaga ang Omega for in the late game when oh. we see them. Yeah, uh, the 18 minute blessing, minsan blessing, yeah. minsan curse depende na sa point depende. of view mo. Uh, uh Kel VJ mm-hmm. naglabas siya ng Claude pick ah. And matagal na natin 'to sinasabi na well throughout the season, medyo nawala na mga marksmen sa meta natin. Of course, Beatrix gumagana, Nathan gumagana pero dati madalas nakita natin si Claude sa gold lane yeah. or sa jungle. Ano ba nangyari kay Claude specifically? Bakit ba siya nawala? Well, it, it's not about the Claude uh, honestly. It's all about the junglers in general. Kano nangyari? So, actually yung mga, yung mga katapat sa lane ni, ni Claude ang lumakas. Like, pag ginamit siya sa jungler alam natin na yung jungling or yung roaming uh, na blessings which is yung yeah. mga dire hit and all that so ice or retribution whatsoever uh, hindi pala dire hit but sa yung ice, fire and everything it mm-hmm. merits yung mga high tempo na jungler so usually yun yung mga 
mga assassins na kaya kung lumaban agad. So, Claude, sobrang heavy farmer niya. That's also mm. true with the gold lane na ngayon nakatapat niya. Imagine mo, makatapat niya Kaja, um, Alice, Lunox, um, onto the side lanes, may mga Pakito. It's very oh, yeah. hard to lane. So, I guess uh, it's not really about the Claude kaya hindi natin nakikita yung Claude. It's more about yung mga match-ups niya na lumakas at mas naging madali yung buhay. Kaya ang hirap na mag-Claude ngayon. Yeah, and it, it parang ano eh, medyo throwback siya to again to the story of their whole rivalry. Um, there were times in the past, the Blacklist International, nairapan sila sa Claude pick ng Omega because yeah. ano eh, ginagamit nila talaga yun pang late game to turn things around, surprise yeah. turn around it. That's what happened in game number one. We were seeing greatest hits of Blacklist versus Omega. Game number two naman, nakita natin yung greatest hits ng Blacklist International. Totally blacklist domination talaga. At yeah. sobrang na-pressure yung side, lane, side lanes ng Omega. Nag-exborg and nag-exborg si Renjo. Yeah. Uh, Nag-alice si Ryzen. By the way, Ryzen, of course, uh, getting included more to the starting lineup over Hito in the gold lane. And what sur- nasurpresa ka ba sa resulta ng game number two ng blacklist versus Omega na sobrang one-sided na ang bilis pa? No, well, definitely. At yung mga standout players then from both teams, you know, very surprising. Like, na-mention mo rin yung name ni, ni Ryzen. Sabi nga ni Manjin ay, Ryzen to the equation. Equation uh, ah, hindi occasion. At <laughs> genuinely, akala ni Manjin ay equation talaga yung sinasabi doon sa same. Ah, talaga? Kala ko ginawa niya yung joke. <laughs> no, so, it's not. Niya talaga, I know to the, the guy. <laughs> I know the guy. Manjin. We love you to to death, pero yeah. Minsan mali. <laughs> Minsan mali. Uh, but yeah, um, going back, yung mga surprising was the result of the series, how you know one-sided games happen. But more importantly, mas surprising don yung mga yung nga, mga mga nagrarise sa equation sa equation. Tayo eh, na pasam na ano talo yung natamay na. Sabi mo na talo. Yeah. Players, particularly si Ryzen, um, it kind of felt like. Pwede talaga siya eh. Na, that's also same with Hito. Na pwede silang pang sub kay Kelra. Pero yeah, um, I guess yun. Overall, so much surprises dun sa series na Omega versus Blacklist. Yeah. And of course, the best surprise and everything that we could have asked for is umabot ng Game 3. Yung laban na to. Uh, it was a super entertaining match. Yung last game, Game number 3 was umabot sa point na it could go to anyone. Like, yeah. clearly, at the same time, Blacklist International, yung kailangan nila gawin para manala sa laban, ginagawa nila. Omega Esports activated na yung Nathan ni Ito Max. Ryzen, yeah. a little bit hit or miss on the Kaja, but then, isang magandang Divine Judgment, mapapaikot niya yung laban. For the rest of day number two, the other results, nakita natin 2-1 over Echo and 2-0 TNC versus Bren. Let's go to day number three naman. The most viewed match of the week. And for sure. The craziest ending, Omega versus NXP Evos. Before we get to that magic moment, were you surprised with the end result? Because going into <laughs> this, I think a lot of people akala na nila, ah, this is going to be an Omega win. Because even more, the night before, nakita na nga natin yung peak Omega. Ang ganda oh. ng performance nila versus Blacklist. Yes, they didn't win, pero parang championship level na nakita natin sa kanila. But then suddenly, NXP Evos with Ren J back in the lineup. Hmm, what's going yep. on here? So, I, uh, I, uh, hindi ano eh. Hindi ako surprised kasi alam ko sa sarili ko na magkaroon ng kahit anong entertaining na baggage for sure. And mm-hmm. even when we were making the jokes na tumatawag nga si Ginoong Valdez at si Madam A doon sa, sa amin at mag-game 3 talaga no matter what, I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure na mag-game 3 siya because that's just how it goes. Hindi nila sinasadya, it's just that they are competitive like that. At kapag nagaharap sila, may ano eh, hindi na siya just mobile legends pero may konting, may story, may gigil eh. Oh. Whatsoever. So, ano, we parang know for sure. Parang na. <laughs> oh eh, may ganun eh. Um, but not in a bad way, in a you know competitive spirit. Yeah, in the competitive so, way, talaga. Yeah, no matter what happens, it will go to a game three. So I wasn't surprised, uh, but I wasn't ready 
Hindi ako handa <laughs> sa mga nakita ko. And that's that's why um, this, um, you know, this low-key rivalry is mm. something to always watch out for. Kasi may, may something ka talaga na may kita almost all the time. Yeah. And I like how their analyst Midnight after the series, ano eh, yung una niyang... Yung unang post niya ata or second long post after the series parang dinepensahan niya si James and yeah. I I love that because nung season 7 I was a James fan for NXP Evos and I still think he's like one of the X factors ng NXP oh. Evos. Um yeah of course Midnight saying that hopefully after this matchup pwede niya hintuin yung usapan tungkol sa James na magaling ba siya mm-hmm. o hindi is a weak link and he proved it that he was he still is a great part yeah. of the NXP EVOS team. I think uh, may isa siyang game on the Toms. Or was that two games yeah. on the Toms? I can't remember correctly. Um, maganda yung pinakita niya. And he did that really, really well. But now let's talk about the magic moment. Or the magic moments leading up to the even more magical moment. The winning split push. <laughs> First of all, yung lead up doon may nakita tayong... Well, something I've never seen in my casting. Mga tat dalawa o tatlong minuto nasa isang shrub si Hayes nakatago yeah. lang siya dun sa bottom lane malapit sa Lord bakit niya okay. ginawa yun? it's so crazy uh, it's part of the plan kasi alam niya na if the that part of the lane is free frozen sa sana oh. freezed, <laughs> freezed. freezed. <laughs> if, that, if that part of the lane is frozen or yun yan lane freeze siya no matter what happens, one core player will be there. So by core player, it will be the gold EXP or the jungler mismo. No matter what happens, it's kailangan may mag-fast clear nun. Uh-oh. Alam mo ba, ang unang nag-step into that spot was Chak, no? And mm-hmm. I was kind of scared parang si Ellie Hayes. Already parang one minute into stepping into that that uh, brush. Nakatago siya dun sa bottom lane brush na yun parang. Chak no yung magpapakita. Uh, for sure, hindi worth it i-combo to. So, Yel Hayes, alam mo yung parang he held his ground being the veteran, being the patient uh, man. The most patient man in MPL. Ginawa niyo yun. So, he let it slide. Si Chak no, hindi niya chinek yung bush na yun. For um, good reason, kasi busy siya. May iba pa siya pa check eh. So, they didn't check it. Now, two minutes thereafter, or maybe, maybe one minute and thirty minutes, uh, one minute and 30 seconds after the oh. patience paid off and the most important hero appeared which was the Lancelot and nakuha oh. niya yung tinatawag namin combo routine ng Eudora kasi late game uh, Eudora with full packed items surely maka minus one yan ng isang jungler na you know you are, your assassins usually mm. Although, I want to say, nakapag-immortality pa rin naman doon si uh, uh, Kel VJ. And eventually, yeah. napatay nila si Eli Hayes. But that also opened the fact na pwede nga mag-split push yung ibang members ng, um, ng uh, NXP. Mm-hmm. Additionally, nawala din yung ano, napa-low nila doon si Lancelot because when you revive from immortality, bukod sa wala ka ng immortality, yung HP mo ay mababa. Right? Mm-hmm. So, it's just like uh, one, less than one-fourth of your HP. Uh, about 20%, which also means na awkward yung Lord take. So, it mm. took lo- a longer time. They bought time para dun sa Lord. Nakapuesto pa si Yawi doon sa Kramer Bush. Oh. First time you'll hear this, Kramer Bush. But yeah, the, the bush yung malapit sa Kramer. At uh, kinailang pa siya. At it, it was kind of late. Buti na lang din ay nung pagtalo ni Yawi, sakto yung, talon, yung patalon din ni Lord. So imagine mm-hmm. if Yawi was able to actually land that kasi si Chak no masyado na late sa pag-check noon eh. So um a very important positioning and uh, uh you know overall macro uh positioning mula doon sa NXP allowed for that Rene Rene 2 connection play split push once again. Yeah and of course the magic moment Rene J and moment. H2 kalaban ulit ang Omega nakapag right. split push sila. That's right. And they were able to win the game and the series for next play EVOS. At yun na nga, ang recap natin for week 2 ng MPL. Let's move on now to our next segment, The Patch. Where we give okay. our quick predictions for the week 3 lineup matches. And we are gonna run by <laughs> this very, very quickly. That's right. <laughs> Mabilis na prediction lang. Saan natin? Day number 1, it's gonna be... NXP EVOS versus RSGPH. Wow. I think NXP can continue the the streak though. 
You know yeah. what? Two and two and NXP. Um, my guess is whew, so difficult, honestly. Um, this time, RSG just because of the fact na Panda itina itinagan niya sa bato na ayaw niya matalo sa NXP. That was from before. Uh. Sorry, Panda, nilalaglag kita ngayon. But yeah, that is something na <laughs> um, yeah, sorry, really sorry, Panda. But you know, you said it. Redmar knows that you said this, but Oh, <laughs> pero it's, it's not like wala siyang ano, wala namang spite doon. It's just that um yun yung parang competitive ni si Panda. Yeah. Coach Pride, isa, isa din. And yeah, uh, I guess yeah, RSG for NXP. Okay. So that's split there. Bren versus Omega. Ah, uh, it's tough. Uh, it's tough. This one is tough. By the way, um, this weekend is the brand brand week. No, first week natin it was the uh, Echo week. Mm. Second week is the Omega week. And uh, two one ang uh, at Omega week ibig sabihin tatlong games sila, tatlong games uh-huh. sila, right? So RSG won two one. No first nung week nila it mm. was Omega one two naman. Brandy Sports mm. ah, super duper weird to see zero three sa standing ng Brandy Sports. But yeah. this time with Kelra back. Hindi pa na kita ng kahit ano flare mula sa Bren Esports. That's why sa Omega ang boto ko dito, Reptar. Yep, same. Same. Uh, hopefully, Coach Ducky doesn't say this and then may message niya tayo. It's like, hey guys, yeah. where's, where's the belief? But, you know, we wish we wish Bren the best and Omega yeah. the best as well. But yeah, it's also no Omega for me. Day number two naman for week three. Real quick, Onyx versus RSG. I think Onyx gonna continue the streak, man. Same. Onyx though. <sighs> the magic, you know, the, the Onyx magic. Um, again, no bias with a team that I've worked before with, but um, I think it's so evident naman dun sa mga past mm. performances ng Onyx with four games. At lagi, uh, din, uh, biglang nag din ang uh, Onyx Philippines ngayon dahil dun sa mga antics nila post game, like yung, yung yeah. meow and then the <laughs> chicken dance ni uh, Dilar, yung CCU dance pala ni Dilar. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but that is backed up with um, ano talaga eh? with um, with data best, naman yeah, and the best record in the league going into best week record. 3 that's right isang oh. talo out of their 4 series that's total of 9 games only losing 1 mm-hmm. and that is amazing and meron pa silang mga wins na sobrang one-sided 7-2 win against TNC with what 13,000 oh. lead sa 10 minutes na sobrang massive oh, and that is a TNC na just one against Bernie Sports. So, yeah. Um, dami kana sinabi, but uh, ang last fu- ang last note ko dito is Iakdo used to be used to play with um, Onik, and there's still a lot of people who knows Iakdo and how he operates. At player din ni Yeb Meister, etong si Aqua from uh, Single Ultra before, so uh-huh. they know a lot of info about RSG. So, um, yeah, I think. Uh, plus, Coach Panda, you know, uh, alam nila uh, Bimo and uh, Rio. Oh, so, and daming ano, and daming reunions na mangyari yeah. sa laban nito. It's a very close, and important matchup for both teams. Okay, so we're That's both right. thinking Onik there. Uh, quick predict. I think, I think Echo is gonna pull through for the second match ng day two NXP versus NXP Evos. Uh, yeah. I think Echo is one of those teams na actually parang katulad lang ng season 7 matatalo sila konting adjustment lang big yeah. they get another streak going so I think this is gonna be Echo for me Wow This time I will vote NXP kasi Ooh. medyo may pagka they're looking at Echo they're putting all of their eggs in one basket which is Benny Cutie at this point mm-hmm. and baka ma-overwhelm sila ng split pushing Nang, uh, nang, NX, nang NXP. That's just my guess. At um, I also feel na yung ano eh, parang NXP, the NXP slowly nagpapakita sila ng strategy. Meron silang pocket strategy versus Omega which was yung Barats para, para kay mm. So, um, it might not work against um, RSG pero baka against the NXP against Echo just because of the fact that the Echo kind of puts all their you know eggs in one basket kaya parang sa NXP Evo sa ako dito 
Okay. Split vote yeah. there. Bren versus Blacklist International. Uh, it's gonna be... Sorry, I, I think it's gonna be a Blacklist. Because, okay, just like last season, people didn't expect or were surprised when Bren were, was the team to break the streak. Of course, mm -hmm. Blacklist International at that point, ano sila, 7 and 0, naging 7 yeah. and 1 dahil sa Bren Esports. I think this is gonna be the revenge of Blacklist International. I think they're gonna win this series. And I am saying that partly because I want to see Streak versus Streak, Blacklist versus Onyx. And that might happen in day three if Manalo ang Blacklist You're at right. Onyx sa matches nila. You're right. You're right. Exactly. <laughs> it's a good story. Ooh. Man, un Ducky, sorry again. We love you. We also love Boncha. We love all the coaches. But, um,. I believe no playoffs of APL season seven. Pinakita na ng blacklist na kaya na talun ng Bren, even when Bren was the streak. Uh, you know, no one mm -hmm. stopped their streak, and it's incredibly harder this time. So I think um, blacklist then ako tito. Okay, for day three, last out of matches for week number three, TNC versus Omega. Ah, this one's tough to call because. At th by this okay. time, nakabalik na si Kelra. He had one match already under his belt. Mm -hmm. And we know he's a difference maker talaga para sa Omega Esports. TNC, only match of the weekend. So, you want to end strong. Wala. Sorry, wala akong boto. Hirap nito. <laughs> what? We can do? Pwede ba yun? Hindi, hindi, hindi. Okay, okay. Sige. Hindi uh, pwede. Hindi pwede. Okay, hindi ako makatakas. Hindi, wala takas. Uh, Omega, Omega, Omega. This time Omega. I'll go TNC, mm. just because uh, you said it. Ito lang yung only match on TNC. They will be prepared for it. TNC is known is known as a team na magbe prepare, and I'm pretty sure after that loss against the uh, Onyx Philippines, they're gonna be resetting. Kasi ganun, yun yung mga losses na ne parang sobrang sampal niya. Kasi it's super duper oh, one sided, and um, I'm pretty sure na yung TNC learned a thing or two dun sa nangyari nila dun sa, sa nangyari sa Onyx Philippines plus the fact na um, kaya na napagandaan and by the way Reptar this will be uh, another heated battle hindi lang sa laro mismo but also sa social media so abangan mm. din natin yan <laughs> yeah for sure for sure a uh, lot of you know a lot of things going on behind the scenes between the players well not really behind the scenes you know with the players themselves involved okay consider Scenario, if for example, undefeated Onyx versus undefeated Blacklist International, the second match of day three for week number three, who is gonna win this? <laughs> Grab it on story nito. I do hope that they win the first matches. Uh, not for my personal bias, but for the sake of the storyline. Imagine oh. this undefeated versus undefeated Ube versus reverse Ube. <laughs> oh, ano, reverse Ube technically yung Onyx. Oh, ang daming nag-ano, no? Ang uh, daming... Na nakakatawa lang din sa mga comment section. Sorry guys, binabasa din namin. But uh, I was tagged a lot dun sa uh, bakit daw tinatawag ng casters na an na reverse Ube, yung Ube strat. Bakit daw kailangan mag-coin? Uh, ba't daw kailangan kontra yung Ube? Well, in the first place, we were the ones to coin Ube anyway. So, uh, mm. uh, that's the answer. So, we need to call it something. Para lang, alam mo yan, mas madaling ma na, na, ma malaman na tao. Yeah. But, don't be confused. Our, the reverse Ube doesn't mean anti-Ube. That, that, something that's reverse of you doesn't mean na siya yung tatalo sa'yo. Alright? Mm. It's just that completely different sila. Right, so just to clarify to all of the viewers out there, and this is me just prolonging and buying some time to. Because it's hard, no? Hindi mo kasi masagot. Mahirap talaga yung sagot. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This is the time where I wanna. Kung meron na kong, pa, baka meron tayong isang basis na pwede magpas all throughout the broadcast. If I have that card, I'm gonna use it now. Yung wanna use it. Yeah, yeah. The, sorry, no gagawin natin yung pass. We only have one sa buong, ano, uh, buong season. I'm gonna use it. We're gonna pass this one. It's too tough it's to too, call. It's too tough. It's too tough. <laughs> Kaalaman yeah. na lang on the day yeah. itself. Um, Final matchup for day three, week three in the... Actually, it's a week of Bren and RSG. Parehas yeah. sila may tatlong matches oh, for the weekend wow, pala. Okay. Oh, so... Right. 
I'm I'm put in an awkward position because I both said uh, oh, leading ba, up no? to this matchup, walang panalo ang RSG or Bren, so uh, that's also I what know, happened to us no sa Omega in XP last week. Eh, so. Yeah, I, I feel huh. like at this point, mano na. I think Bren will just ha- have enough and had finally have enough of it and finally get their first win. If, that I agree like, with. Pag yung scenario is ganito. Like Bren Esports haven't had a win yet at final uh, final dinner ng week three. I think Bren yeah. will take it. Mm. That I agree with. Um, Bren Esports is known as a team na when the opponents are trying so much ng mga different meta na tatalo nila. Parang yung mga mm. sobrang dami mga breaks because of their fundamental skill na mechanical mm. skill mechanics about the game. And RSG is known to really pa pa pockets right their way into into their wins and yeah I, I do agree with you Mong if there's a you know a way for Bren Esports to wake up this might be it against RSG yeah and there you have it our predictions for the final or the matches for week number three of MPL Philippines and with that that's it for us for this episode of Patch Notes ako po si Reptar and you can follow me at Esports Reptar TikTok Facebook Twitter Instagram Minsan rin sa YouTube pero wala pa ako na post don't worry. Soon enough, soon enough. Soon enough finally soon enough. makapost na ka doon. Huwag niyo rin kalimutan po mag-like, comment and subscribe sa YouTube channel ng Tier 1 Studios, TikTok at Tier 1 Studios, Instagram at Get Amplified and Facebook at Get Amplified Wolf. Yeah. Social media mo. Well, Wolfcast sa lahat ng aking mga social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. I actually have some total of two videos but more things are coming up on TikTok and so YouTube I'm making a lot of um, tutorial not tutorial but guide videos on how to mm-hmm. understand the broadcast better so if you have questions and there are a lot of terms go to my uh, YouTube and I'll try to explain them one, one after the other and of course you're going to MPL where you said like the Reptar we are your resident analysts and of course, if you want to win games and make winning moments with your friends, you can achieve double GG with smart double giga games, get to gigabytes for Mobile Legends, Facebook Gaming, and more guaranteed every day, plus data for all sites. All you have to do is open the Giga Life app or dial star one, two, three, hash, and choose double giga. I'm never gonna do that again. Smart is also the official tournament telco partner of the MPL Philippines Season 8. Again, this is Patch Notes. My name is Reptar. Ito po si Wolf. See you next week. Thank you very much and we hope you enjoy this weekend's action sa MPL. Bye-bye!